Man, there was nothing like bacon for breakfast. Good morning, everybody. Man, it's super early. I'm never up this early. And when I'm up this early, I'm usually coming home from the surf, the beach, work. All right, so we're gonna be doing things a little non-traditionally. Besides going flounder fishing, we're gonna catch the flounder in a very non-traditional way. We're gonna bust out the bacon. Yes, bacon really works. There's a lot of old timers that say that's one of the best ways to fish, and I've previously used it a couple times with great success, all right? So we're non-traditional, we like to do everything non-traditional, we like to be different and weird. All right, so the way we're gonna use the bacon is we're gonna get our jigs and lures, we're gonna tip some bacon meat on there and slowly jig. All right, so check it out. This is what I'm gonna be using. And before we start this video, I'd like to give out a big shout out to AM Fishing for hooking up with the sick tackle box. All the great lures that I like to use, the ones that are catching on the flounder. Let me show you what we got here. Look at this beauty. This is what we're gonna be using today. This is gonna be the brooch coated with UV. Look at how bright these going the dark lures are. Look at that, wow. You need to get some of these. These are the best night fishing lures ever. And during the day, there are also some of the best lures out there. Very durable, unlike some of the words, like gulp. <laughs> Look how bright that is. That's what's light in the background, too. You gotta check this out. Look at how many crows are out here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Let's go to the drive through. Oh, look at all these crows. Oh my god, what's going on here? Man, poor cars, all these cars are gonna be loaded with shit on them. All right, so today is a three fish day. Let me show you real quick. Tides for fishing, Tuesday. Look at that, three fish, high activity. But, one of the reasons that I'm fishing this morning is because from 6.45 to 7.45, there's extremely high activity. And when it's green like that, when there's a big fish like that on the graph, that means it's one of the best times to fish. The reason why this morning is gonna be such a great day to fish is because the sunrise and the moon is gonna rise at the same time, which that creates a extremely high activity for fishing. And we're flounder fishing in the channel, so I, I have a feeling we're gonna catch a lot of flounder today. All right? Man, this is great. We got a good hour window. All right, so let's do it. We're waiting for our Lone Star Yak fishing. Homeboy Eric gonna fish with us today. And uh, he's a real good flounder fisherman. Uh, we're waiting for him and we're gonna do it, man. Let's get it done. All right, so while we're at it, we're gonna buy some bacon at Kroger. Good morning. Oh, let's get that bacon, that hickory smoked bacon. Excuse me. Do you have cooked bacon? Yeah, it's right over here on this side. Low sodium. Nah, it's a good tradition. We like full flavor. All right, so we got fully cooked bacon. We got raw bacon. We'll see which in the flounder prefer today. Here we are, man. Let's try out the bacon. Let's see which one they're gonna like. So what we're doing, we're fishing with the AM lures, the brooch, fully cooked bacon, and raw bacon. We'll see what we catch. The water's really murky, so this bacon's definitely gonna help out with that scent. Let's do it. All right, let's see, let's do it. Let's do it without bacon first, see what we get. Another out here. Let's do it. Man, it went nowhere. There we go. Oh, it's snag. Ooh, I got it off, wow. That's a miracle. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
already with the AM lures. The brooch. Nice. It's a nice size too. Yes. Oh, this is a hell of a size right here, bro. Nice already. Nice thick boy. Look at that. Man, this is a big one. Already. Already. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's how you're elite AF in. Right there. That's exactly what we want right there. It's a nice one. Nice, nice shoulders on it. Thick boy. The slab. <laughs> Already that first sun early in the morning, right away within five minutes we got this nice. Nice guy, it was 19 inches. Nice and thick, nice shoulders on it. Man, this would be great for the grill. I got it on the AM brooch. This is what we're using right now. This is what's getting him. Yes, already. All right, so we got our first flounder. It was 19 inches, nice and thick, perfect for the grill. But let's what? Let's step it up a bit. Let's go ahead and put some of that bacon on it for scent. The water's a little murky, so let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. All right, we're gonna put fully cooked, and raw. Let's do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, my bacon came off. I'm trailing it, dude. My bacon came off, though. I gotta get some, too. I like the, the meat part. The, the meat? The meat is good. It, it doesn't fall off as easy as the fat. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Hey, go right here. Ah, bro. I'm only running a single. What, a single well, here? Yeah, I don't run tandem. Why? Snag? Yeah. Even with a... You got him. You got him, man. I'm about to go over there. I'm about to start, I'm about to start pot licking. Well, that's a nice one. On my way. <laughs> Cow dope. Do it. So the bacon fell off on the other cast. Let's throw it again. So we got another one. We're using raw bacon. There we go. There we go. This is a bigger one. Yes! On the bacon! There we go. We got one on the bacon. A small one though. But we got it on the bacon. <laughs> there we go. This is not as big, but we're gonna let it go because it's not a big boy. But that's one on the bacon. Yes! <laughs> we got one on the bacon. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that is great. Look at that on the bacon. I gotta take a picture of this. Probably people don't believe me. I think I staged my videos. There it is right there. The bacon. Here we go. For all the people that don't believe me, they think that I staged all my videos. Right there on the bacon. The AM brooch and some bacon. It's a small, it's like a 15. I'm gonna let it go there. Small guy. Thank you for the little fight there. Get bigger, bro. Now we still got some bacon tipped on there, so let's get another one. That's one for the raw bacon. bacon too. Are you using bacon? No, sir. no? Oh, it looked like bacon. Huh? Oh, flounder belly. Oh, the secret. Look at this right here. Oh, yeah. Pig belly. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
but I got a uh, raw bacon on my hands. I'm not trying to get salmonella. It's gonna be no fishing, man, for like a week. Get some food poisoning, huh? <laughs> Huh? Oh. Bacon. Oh, bacon. They do now? <laughs> Alright, let's go on this side. Let's see what we got going on. We might have already uh, played out that area. So that's some more bacon. We'll catch a few more on the raw bacon, then we'll switch over to fully cooked bacon. Oh, that's an amp out right there. You know they're gonna go ham over this bacon right here. The entrance. See if we get another one. So jigging the sides right here. Slow jigging, fast jigging, whatever. We're just jigging, period. So far, we found out that we jig slowly up and down. They're eating. Oh, home where we just got him one. Elite AF. Oh, yeah. Man, we're killing it out here. We've already outfished everybody. Oh, there we go. See? What is this? Oh man, we're getting jacked by sand trout. The sandies are here. Oh, I guess they like bacon too. Man, if we only had some bull red uh, stuff out here, we'd be killing it with these. This is a nice size. Full cast out right here. Let me know in the comments. Should I start going surf fishing some more with these? Let's let it go. We're not trying to get a trash can slam out here. All right, we still got some bacon tips on there. We still got some of that meat on there. The good stuff. Meat bacon. Let's put on there. What I have been noticing is that they're only, they seem to be only hitting the top jig for some reason. So we're gonna make that a priority. We're gonna be uh, tipping the top more. Oh, there we go. So, oh, come on, bait stealers. No. Oh. Of course, big sand trout. Yes, ma'am. Sure. Where are these guys at when I need them for bullets? Where do you want to put it at? Oh, I'm using the bait. Oh, okay. Thank you. No problem. Bacon going. Is that a slab of raw bacon on here? Well, I'm in. We already got one. The water's murky, so we're gonna add some scent. It's <laughs> gonna be great. with it now. <laughs> we go right here. There's another one right here, I bet. But there's another one right here. We're only keeping ones that are over 18 inches. We got Thanksgiving coming up and we need some big ones to stuff. Now we were catching a lunch and dinner with breakfast. We're gonna get snagged. We need to get away from this area. Oh yeah, you can see them all right there, all the oysters. But there's a ton of sheep sit out here too. Oh, there we go, another one, another one. Another one on the bacon, yes. Another one on the bacon, this is a small one though. <laughs>
another one. Oh, this one's small though. It's all right. Man, they're slamming the bacon. Here we go, let it go, it's a small one. Thanks for playing, buddy. Get bigger, bro. Let's let it go, hope we get another one. That beautiful flounder. Still got some of that bacon right there. <laughs> Thanks for playing on the bomber game. Huh? Thanks for playing on the beach bomber <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that's it. We only got a few uh, flounder. We got 119. You got, a, you got some, some other ones. I don't know what size they were. More than. Uh, most of them were little chips. I got a 14, a 13, and then a 15 to the end. Of it. Uh, I got that 19. You know, I got a couple that were definitely keepers, though. We wanted the big ones. You know, I got a 16 and a 17. Yeah, and the other ones I think was like 15, but you know, we wanted the big ones. But we're going to stuff down for Thanksgiving. Crab, something, all right? So if the final run is going to get better. We're going to be doing more videos. Subscribe to Homo here, Long Story Yak Fishing. You got some elite videos, all the good stuff, all right? Appreciate y'all. Stay elite. Well, that's it. I really hope you have a great Thanksgiving, spending with your family, all your loved ones, with your close friends. Go out and get you some flounder, man. They're thick out there, the weather's changing, and there's going to be a lot of slabs out there, all right? Have fun, have a great Thanksgiving, and if you're going Black Friday shopping, please be careful. You know, there's some crazy people out there, you know, they want to get all them deals. You know, it's funny because I think like 10 years ago, I was out at Black Friday shopping, it was about 4 a.m. I left work early that day and I seen a sweater that I really wanted at one of the department stores. And it was the last one too. And this lady uh, goes up to it and I get it. And then she has the audacity to snatch it out of my hand. And I was like, hey, I just got it. What are you doing? There's so many sweaters out there. Oh, my husband needs it more than you do. I was like, what? How such entitled of you. So I eventually get it back, but she grabs it. And then she throws it in my face. And I was like, oh man. <laughs> Anyways, be safe out there, and then uh, I want to throw in another thing, and I haven't told anybody, I've been wanting to tell y'all, but uh, we're expecting another baby boy, I haven't told anybody, he's due January, alright, so in the comments, we don't have a name yet, so in the comments, please throw out some names, give me a general idea of what I should name my baby boy, <laughs> alright, share this video, watch this video, buy the merch, so like that I can afford this next baby coming up, alright y'all, the AM lure links are going to be in the description, so are the stickers, alright, I appreciate it. Have a great Thanksgiving, y'all. Thanks.